Hi, uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, first off, thank you very much for all those new subscribers since the last video. It's really, really appreciated. Um, I think uh, the last video was well received. Hopefully this one will be equally as good. So what are we doing today? Well, as the thumbnail suggests, we're going to be replacing the touchpad controller in the car. Now, for some reason, it's got this sort of three centimetre crack on it that's slowly been growing. I've read on some forums that it can be to do with um, heat in the car. Uh, when it's parked up. I really don't know. I've got no chance of getting it fixed under warranty. Uh, Mercedes aren't acknowledging the problem. Uh, I certainly haven't dropped anything on it, so it's not uh, it's not something I've done. So I've got a good used second-hand part here, uh, which I bought. Uh, it's a little bit scratched on the back here, but as part of the video later on, what we will do is we will replace that with the good part from the controller in the car. So Without further ado, let's start off with uh, removing the centre console and then we'll take it from there. OK, so what we're going to do now is we're going to remove this centre console. Now, to do that, all you have to do is remove four screws and they're all a T20 screw. So open up the console. You'll see these two rubber bungs. They just come out and get your fingernail underneath. They pull up. So we'll put those in there. I'll undo these two, as you can see, one, two. Now, if you're doing this on the convertible, it's exactly the same, but obviously here is a control panel. Uh, and when you take this up, you'll obviously have to then remove the wiring, unclip the wiring from underneath. So you just lift, sort of slide this back a little bit, just past these two um, the, the push buttons to release this up. Up, tilt, out it comes. Set it aside, we'll put it in there. And then you can see you've got two more screws here. Now, uh, this one here is broken. And the only reason it's broken is this is actually a second-hand part because I've already replaced the gloss black console with this wood trim effect. And obviously, as it was a second-hand part, that's how it was, unfortunately. But it was a good price. So um, just remove the screws. Again, T20. And then all you need to do, it works better if you do that, is you just lift this up. And then you sort of slide it back a little bit and you, you can see you've got this little ridge piece here. This just slots up under there and it will naturally fall back into place. So that's all you're doing is you're lifting that up. In fact, I will just reopen those. And there is enough space here to tilt this over. You can just put a microfiber cloth on the in the corner there just so nothing scratches. Now, if you are intending to replace the wood, as I've done, all you need to do is just work your way around the two light connectors, the three connect electrical connectors at the back for the switch row and the clock, this one here for the keyless module, and the uh, harness here for either the cigarette lighter or the USB socket, depending on what you have. Once that's out, all these other parts just clip in with like little quick release clips. So the part we're looking at here today is this. This is the central control panel. So these clips just come out by pushing in the little tang like that. OK, just push that in. If you haven't got enough length fingernail, you can just put a screwdriver in there and do the same thing. And they just come out. OK, so that's one, two, three. And then this one here is one of these sort of press it in and then it self releases and self clips in type clips and it just pops out like that okay and then you've got this control module here then what you've got is you've got four screws again they're all t20 so you just undo these So that releases this whole um, module, touchpad module that you have. And it withdraws this way. So what you've got to do is if you hold it from the back, you can push it slightly and you're sort of pivoting it around here. So you just push it through, back out and out it comes. And then you've got your module. 
Okay, so this unit itself is four, well, five different things really. You've got the outer casing, the whole sort of framework. You've got the touch pad. Um, you've got the controller knob dial thing. And then you've got the individual switch gear down each side. And if you need to replace that, you can all do that. Um, quite simply is you've got three screws on each side. If you undo those, those are T9. They will then release the, the banks on each side. Uh, to release this pad here, you've got uh, four screws, well, you've got two screws, and they're both again T20, the same as we used uh, to release everything in the car. So let's just do that. And also, sorry, I'll also just point out you've got the frame here as well, which you can see clips on, so you just need to push that in, pull that up, work your way around, and then all that metal trim frame will come up. So, first off, we just need to remove these two 20 bolts here, T20, one, and two. This unit then, it's got a slight little clip on it, but it just, if you just push it, wiggle it, he says, it just slides out, okay? So I'll just show you, it goes in, you can hear it click, and all you're doing is you're just wiggling it to undo that click. So we can then set this aside for the moment, we don't need that. And then I just need to change this now for a T9, uh, because what I'm going to do is, as you can see, although this is, in fact, let me show you the new unit. This unit is a second-hand unit. It was a little bit scratched on here, and I've managed to polish out 95% of all the scratches, which is absolutely fine. I mean, the car is four years old, so it's not going to be well, it, almost perfect apart from the cracks on the old one. But the new one, you know, a tiny bit of wear is not going to matter. But down here, I don't know how much the camera can pick it up, but you can sort of see it's quite scratched. And I've tried polishing it, and it doesn't really work. So what I'm going to do is, since the old one is perfect here I'm actually just going to swap this piece over and to do that what I need to do is to remove this controller piece here so I'm going to work on the old one first and then put it onto the new one so two t9 bolts just undo here very gently they're not very tight it's more about just holding it, uh, just gently holding it in place. So let's just undo those. Like that. And then this, in fact, that's the best way for the camera, just slides out. Okay, so it's, you can see, put it like that. Uh, sort of slides in its little channel like that and again it just pushes in to the electrical connector in the back so you just freeing that out again you wonder why cars are so delayed at the moment just look at the amount of chips in there and that's one tiny part of the whole system and there's more stuff in here so what you need to do is um, this part here is quite hard to show on the camera but it it's just really sort of held in by clips that just force against itself. So if you just, all you need to do is put your thumb in and gently pull it and then wiggle and it comes out. And if you look on the back, you can see the two clips. Let's get that hopefully the right way around for some sunlight to catch it. These two clips are what you're just sort of pulling against and then you can remove this back cover. So I'll put this back in here for safekeeping for the moment. I've got this as a spare then, should in the future uh, mine break for whatever reason. So we'll just put that in there. Set that to one side. So we've now got the used one. And I'm same as did before. Undo those. Pull 
that out. Then remove this. It's a little bit dusty inside, but that's okay. And then we'll just put the new one back on. Just get the edge of that. A little bit of dirt in there. Let's remove that out. And then all we're going to do is just very carefully just click that back into place. Okay, so we've now got one scratch free, scratch free, used but new to us controller. I'm going to replace this, and I said this just slides in. just slides in with everything going underneath and just these two bits there to guide it in and you just push it in so it won't go any further nice and gently fill up these two screws Pick back up our original unit, and this just slides down into that channel, and then here we click. That's not going anywhere. Put the two screws back in here. Swap back out for our uh, T20. Just do that up. Nothing especially tight, just when it stops turning, stop. And that's that, ready to go back in the car. Okay, so we're now going to put this back in the car. So remember last time I said you just need, because you this sort of obviously leans out a bit, uh, you need to sort of put it in and bend it round. So you just put it in, this can only go in one way obviously, and then it just lines up with the four, the four holes, the screws, Let's just get that in and the two screws up put the uh, little rubber grommets in that's you good to go and then you just need to um, do a quick function test and make sure it works now I know that works because um, as is with lots of these I've already done that once before to make sure that I knew the product works I didn't have to send it back so but I just sort of video the process and hopefully it's useful um, 
So really what we looked at today, we've looked at how to replace the centre console, if you need to change the trim out, how to take apart the touchpad bit and replace that. Hopefully you find that useful. Uh, please like, subscribe, uh, share the video as much as you want and we'll see you for the next one some point in the future. Thanks very much.